Hey welcome to the channel Simon here in this video I'm going to talk about Minecraft online multiplayer and how to fix all the bugs and glitches and ro roadblocks that have been these things have been for quite a bit long time and Mojang hasn't fixed them and especially in the beta there are a couple of bugs like the one which shows unable to connect to the world and privacy and online multiplayer so let's begin so the first thing is your in-game setting go to your minecraft app and go to settings in that go to profile and if you want to use cellular data make sure cellular data is turned on and the other option auto update it's optional you can put it on wi-fi only or wi-fi and cellular data i prefer in wi-fi and cellular data you can keep it as you want uh, that's it for you now you can exit from here and go to your minecraft world setting in this you have uh, go to edit and i will recommend to do this on every world edit the world that you want to play multiplayer on and go to multiplayer and make sure multiplayer game is enabled and the microsoft account setting put it to whatever you want i prefer on friends of friends it doesn't bother me so yeah that's it for here so the next step is your so the second step is your microsoft account setting in that I'll tell you what you have to change. Go to the link in the description. It will lead you to this page. Sign in the page. Put your account details and all that. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you have you will have to create one. You will probably have one already. Fill in your details here. I'll just get done with mine over here. I'm just typing the password so it will black out. The screen won't record because it's yeah so once it loads it will show you a page where it will show all your mind microsoft account details in that you have to go to more actions and edit profile because we wanted to edit some things in your profile only then it will be able to play minecraft multiplayer so here we have to edit your age to something which is 18 plus so it shows edit date of birth click on that and go there and select a year which makes it so that you're 18 plus i have it on 1995 it doesn't really matter if it's it anything about 18 would do so do whatever so yeah that's it for you now once you're done scroll down and click on save the and then you'll be done okay so that's it for here now your age is changed i mean yeah so now the third step is xbox privacy and online setting i have the link in the description go and click on that and then click on the small circle on the top right corner click on that and you have to change your privacy settings so here also you will have to use your microsoft account to sign in and just enter your credentials and sign in to your account and once you're in there it will lead you to a page like this as you can see now in the top right corner it's it has signed in and it shows my xbox logo click on that and click on the three small dot options button in the bottom right and click on xbox setting then it will show you a couple of options from that you have to select privacy and online safety scroll down here there you go privacy and online safety click on that it would prompt you to another page and that we have to change a couple of settings now once you're here you will see this click on privacy first in privacy make sure everything all the options are on everyone you can read through some of these and prefer what you want to put on friends but do not put anything on block make sure nothing is on block put everything on everyone and then just submit and now we have to head on to the xbox online settings on this gets loaded we can go to the xbox online setting it's right next to it xbox one windows online safety setting click on that and here also the same make sure everything is on allow make sure nothing is unlocked and then click on submit if you didn't do this or like you created an account which wasn't 18 plus some of the things would have been unlocked so yeah that this is necessary for that once you're done with this uh, that's it now we have to now the next step so now head on to the link in the description and or like you can go to play store and download it whatever download omelette arcade it's an app on play store ios and you can get wherever you want and create an account click on create account and create a username and put whatever you want i'm just creating my username it's just stupid yeah 
click on create it will load you can select what what games you like i'm just gonna skip for now and as you can see here it is really good for minecraft and once you're done with that on the top right we'll see a bell icon click on that and click and here you see set email and password one once you do this then only the account will be activated because you need to verify your email put your email down here and the password for the email and then uh you will get a email to verify that you have created this account you just have to allow it so that i'm just gonna get done with that and here we go the email should be here and yep there it is click on that it will show you activate account click on it it will lead you to page telling that yes your account is activated successfully and yep we're done with that uh, now you can go to the real app now open the app and search for the person with whom you want to play multiplayer search their name they also have to create the same account and do all the process and follow them and make them your friend that's how you may add them as your friend so now finally how to host a world open omelet arcade and from that you have to search minecraft so let me just open the app and in the search bar click on that and search minecraft it will show a community for the game there are a lot of live streams and other people's world that you can join for now click click on play now and from that it will automatically launch minecraft your app and from there you have to host a world once you're in the app go ahead and launch the world which you want to play multiplayer on just launch it once you're in the world click on the small omelet arcade icon on that and it will show a lot of options click on that click on my world there you can see a button which you can toggle enable that and here you can select if you want it so that only gamers you follow can follow it's your preference and it also has many options such as chatting and voice chat of course the there is voice chat in game but it also has voice chat which is not there in multiplayer minecraft so yeah that's it uh, now you have successfully hosted your world here you can see that you can chat with friends while you are playing i'll show you now how to join the world To join the world it's kind of simple you have to open omelet and in the top right there you will see a friends icon like the two thing over there click on that and whenever your friends are playing it will show who is online so as of now my other account is online and i have hosted a world in it so click on join and it will show the name of the world whichever the player is hosting so here the name is my world so join my world and the same way it will just open up minecraft and once it open up minecraft then click on play and go to the friend section and here you can see that there are two things one is joinable friends and another is lion game click on lion games that is the one that is actually the one that your friend is hosting the join game is the one that minecraft already shows but it is, doesn't work it just shows unable to connect to the world so click on the lion games and it's locating this so um, it's actually it actually works pretty quick yeah there you can see it's already done and here we are in the world let's find him and there he is so yeah that's how you can play minecraft multiplayer be sure to share this video to your friends who play minecraft so that you can play minecraft with them minecraft is all about multiplayer and it's always fun to play with your friends that's how everyone learns minecraft so yeah be sure to like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more thank you for watching the video